Canes fans, Canes fans, you know what week it is. FSU hate week. So for the rest of the week, along with a couple more videos I'm going to be posting, I'm going to be posting some one-on-one -on -one matchups that I think could potentially sway the game in either way. I'm not making a prediction on the game. I'm just, I'm just saying, you do that yourself. First matchup of the week, Tyreek Stevenson versus Johnny Wilson. On the season, Johnny Wilson has 30 catches. That's okay. 603 yards. Hmm. Hmm. Averaging 20 yards per catch. 20 yards per catch? 20 yards per catch. Insane. Now, I watched a couple of Florida State games. I mean, we, 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 we're going to watch little bro. You know what I'm saying? Like a proud big brother. We going to watch little bro. We got to because... We gave y'all everything you know. I, I you know, I, <laughs> I don't do that. I'm not that. I'm not that Miami fan. But you know what? Yes, I am, little bruh. But with that being said, this is gonna be a very interesting matchup, man. It's gonna be a very interesting matchup. After the game, I need Johnny Wilson to go find the nearest Miami Dade police officer and press charges on Tyreek Stevenson for assault and battery. That is what I'm hoping occurs. I'm not talking about cheap shots. I'm talking about these right here. These in Johnny Wilson. Because Johnny Wilson ain't played no corner that's. <laughs> he ain't played a Tyreek Stevenson all year. Albeit, Tyreek Stevenson ain't played a Johnny Wilson all year. But what I think this matchup does, not only for today, I think this gives NFL scouts good tape. Why do I say that? Johnny Wilson may more than, more than likely project as a tight end at the next level. Many people in the Kane Nation feel that Tyreek Stevenson is going to project as a safety at the next level. So, what it does for Johnny Wilson is, okay, there's a new age safety in the NFL, one that has to tackle as well as cover tight ends. How well, Johnny Wilson, are you doing against a guy like this? Tyreek Stevenson, there is a George Kittle problem. There is a Travis Kelsey problem. There is a Darren Waller problem. Um, a Mark Andrews problem. How do you handle these particular problems? So I think it's a good matchup from that particular standpoint where both guys will be at positions that maybe they don't necessarily translate to play at the next level, but still the matchup is still a good matchup nonetheless. But like I said, I need I need, I need need Johnny to go find the nearest Miami Dade police officer and say, listen, I ain't no snitch, but you see my chest? Because he already light-skinned. See my chest? He put his hands on me. He put his hands on me. I need Reek to do that. Now, I go back to this example. I don't know if y'all watched that I Am Athlete clip when Chad and uh, Dion were, you know, doing a little one-on-one -on -one matchup. And Dion flat out told Chad, because Chad gave him a scenario. And Dion flat out told Chad, listen, that back there, I already took care of that. It's none of that. So we really talking... 12 to 13 yards. And Brandon Marshall asked Dion, he said, what kind of day Chad going to have? He said, it's going to be respectable, but it ain't going to do no damage. That's the mentality and the mindset I need Tyreek to go in here with. He'll get a couple little catches. It ain't going to do no damage. Now, I'm not going to go out here and say that Florida State doesn't get down to the red zone, throws a jump ball. The man's six foot seven. I mean, come on. He might get it. And like I said, he's done a good job albeit against smaller corners, blocking those guys out and making plays on the football. So I I have to commend that. And to be averaging 20 yards per catch, you're not just catching hitch routes and juking people. You actually are running by people. I don't know how he does it. It maybe could be a situation like Mike Evans where you don't realize he's as fast as he is until you're still in your back pedal and he's starting to wind up. And by the time you turn it's too late. You're not catching him. But I don't, I'm not really worried about that with Reek because, again, we're putting hands on him. Like that clip from uh, Paid in Full when Mikhail Pfeiffer and Cameron were shooting a little paper ball and, and, and Cameron told him uh, double up, double, you know, double. You know what I'm saying? Bet it back. 
if McCown Five missed it and he had the money, and Cameron told him, said, you get nothing, B. No sushi, no steak, no wine. Nothing. You get nothing. I need Tyreek Stevenson to walk up with Johnny Wilson face at the first snap and tell him, you get nothing, B. And I need him to travel with Johnny Wilson. At no point in this game do I want to see DJ Ivy lined up on Johnny Wilson. At no point. At no point. I don't care how good of a week DJ Ivy has had. At no point this week do I need DJ Ivy lined up against Johnny Wilson. I like DJ Ivy. I feel like DJ Ivy gets a bad rap. I really, really do. Because corner is one of those positions where you can play fantastic the entire game and one play breaks the levy and just so you know that's that's what that's that's kind of what it is but i need reek on johnny wilson i need him i need I, I need him to put hands on him because again like i said neither one of these guys have played a guy like this all year so it'll be interesting to see how the adjustment goes uh i think obviously with tyreek being so athletic uh that he is i think he may have the advantage athletically uh, against a Johnny Wilson, which I think Tyreek will be able to win the majority of the matchups in this particular game. However, like I said, if Florida State is able to run the ball and get into the red zone and they and they get out there and they may throw a jump ball to, to Johnny Wilson, again, he's six foot seven. Reek is 6'2". We're giving up five inches. And he can jump a little bit. So he may get something. But again, like I said, I feel like it won't be something that does damage. However, I will say this, though. I still think Florida State may actually have the advantage in that particular matchup. I really I, I do. Um, because, like I said, the, the, depending on how we play coverage, uh, we're going to have to put a guy. I feel like we're going to have to put a guy in the box. We really are. And I think even though, like I said, um, neither one of them have played a guy like this, it's going to take some adjustments on both sides. It really is. And I think in the box score, the box score, I think Johnny Wilson may win the matchup in the box score, even though I just said you get nothing. But I do think that Tyreek will hold his own and somewhat keep Johnny Wilson somewhat contained. But I think the box score will tell the story that Johnny Wilson had a pretty good day at the office. Tyreek was able to hold up, but Johnny Wilson may have had a better day at the office. Now, I don't want to say that, but the reality of the situation is that, you know, I feel like that could be that, that could be the way it, way it occurs. And hopefully we don't have any busted coverages because... <sighs> Man, averaging 20 yards to catch, man. So that so you have to be aware of that. Now, in closing, I want to ask a question. I know we've said that, man, it looks like Jordan Travis has gotten better. And then I stopped and I thought, I said, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Florida State as a team has got marginally better. Has Jordan Travis actually gotten better? Or has Florida State marginally getting better as a team, making him look better than what he is? I think. I think that's what it is. I think since they're marginally better, he looks better than what he really is because he's still Jordan Travis. I mean, he'll still make a throw here or there. But like I said, when you go get a six foot seven receiver in the portal, I mean, what? How can you throw him a bad ball? Like how? Unless you throw it like right on the ground. Like, but how can you throw a bad ball? We, you're still Jordan Travis who runs the football, right? That's going to be another interesting matchup. Okay, where do y'all see who I match up against Jordan Travis? But anyway, it's all about the you. Like, subscribe, share. It's all about the you, baby. Tyreek, lock him up and don't let him out.